Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of God Lex. Today it is Thursday, and it's been a while since my last video, but um, I've been training a bit, and I'll get out on the bike right now, and we'll do some more talking. And we're out on the bike. I've had to take a break from strength training because my gluteus medius just really started hurting, and it was affecting me throughout the day so when I was seated in our couch it hurt when I was out riding it hurt and basically everything I did it kind of hurt so had to take a break and uh, it's slowly coming together again right now it's around four five degrees fall is over <laughs> and winter is coming. We're in the end of November and you can uh, slowly but steadily feel the cold coming closer. Today's ride is just an easy zone 2 ride, 2 hours 15 minutes and hopefully I'll do good. So I better get cracking and uh, I'll see you when I get home again. Sorry if I speak about me too much I'm sorry that your illness is a subsequent reason you don't need too much oh. It's obvious we drink too much I'm sorry that your father never loved you and you saw your mother on the TV too much oh. But you should pop a bottle again Maybe buy a couple bars, take them out to your friends yeah. And I don't even want to pretend Should have listen when they told me it's a me to end yeah. And now I'm on the fence I was only 19 with a lack of respect And then she threw up again Said she didn't but you know I'm reading through it again But don't choose If you love it then you cut the thing loose Dark room And it's sad so you know I can't move yet ride is done now I did two hours 17 minutes and uh, it felt quite good it's a pretty cold day today but uh, everything worked out so what I wanted to talk to you about today is one of the best upgrades you can buy or one of the most essential parts of your winter training and um, it's not about having the right winter jacket that costs 300 euros and comes from Castelli or Asus or whatever you like. It's not about uh, having the Tax Neo for your Swift setup. If you're going to ride outside, you need this. This is a dedicated winter bike. So this is a bike with full fenders on it. It's equipped with a group set that isn't too cheap, uh, isn't too expensive to uh, exchange. Um, it's a bike that's pretty much set up to do what it's supposed to do and that is to ride when the weather is bad so my winter bike is this this is the Cannondale Cat 10 I have it because it's an alloy frame I really like Cannondale and because it's alloy so you don't it's not too expensive I got it at a great deal on eBay and I basic, basically uh, kitted it up with various stuff so I got a Dita stem that wasn't too crazy expensive I just exchanged the bars this season because I wanted something more like my tarmac bike. Uh, so these are some old uh, FSA bars that I had lying around. That fits me quite well. You might notice that the group set is actually somewhat uh, SRAM red. So I got the SRAM red um, levers. I got the SRAM red uh, rear derailleur. The front derailleur is actually a SRAM force. And then I got a rotor power chain set. Um, not a power, just a rotor chain set. And uh, I think I got these levers for what is around 60 euros, quite cheap. The, the same with the, uh, the rear derailleur and the, the front derailleur is probably just around 15 or 20 euros. 
Um, what's great about a winter bike is that you can fit full fenders on it. So instead of going like the uh, the race blades that you have like clip-on um, fenders, they're pretty much rubbish because what you need is something that follows the entire circumference of, uh, not the entire circumference, but the most essential parts of your wheel where you get the splashes. And also I've extended the fender all the way down. So it's actually just probably 10, 12, 15 centimeters above ground on the front and probably the same on the rear. The thing about having full fenders is when you're riding with other people and especially when you have the extenders on the fenders, you don't get the splashes from your from your tires. And uh, riding with other people, if you ever try riding in bad weather conditions with somebody ahead of you that doesn't have fenders on, it's just insane. You get dirt, grime in your face, in your mouth, in your eyes, everything. Your kit is just totally uh, dirty when you get home and the bike looks uh, like it's been through a muddy face. So riding with fenders when you ride with other people is essential uh, because a lot of clubs won't let you ride unless you have fenders when it's uh, winter. I could go full gas with this bike because it's a Cannondale Cat 10, which isn't the heaviest frame set. But for winter riding, you basically just need something sturdy. So also these wheels, these are Mavic Casero McKeep. Uh, not too expensive. Are they Caseros or Axiom? They're actually Axiom. Uh, Axiom Elite. The previous wheels that I had was the Casero McKeep. Um, basically what you want is a wheel set that you don't feel too bad about replacing because through riding through the winter you more or less go through probably two sets, maybe three sets of brake pads because it just wears, um, they wear out and um, the same goes for the rim. The best thing you could do is probably get something uh, laced to a good uh, hub set and probably in a 2832 configuration. Uh, so that when you wear through your rim, you can just replace that. It's not too expensive as going out to buy an exact new set of wheels. I think these wheels are about 150 euros, so they're not too bad. But basically, go buy a good hub set, lace them to a not too expensive uh, rim, something probably like a, an Open Pro from Mavic or something on TV Swiss and uh, when it wears out you just replace the rim and uh, with the right amount of maintenance you can uh, have those hubs last like forever. Also on my chain set I usually ride actually with a 5034 uh, because living in Denmark we have a lot of wind and you just go so much slower in the winter than you do when it's um, when it's summer so having a smaller gearing doesn't effect too much. It's uh, quite nice actually to be able to spin the big ring once in a while. This is actually set up with a 5236 so a bit heavier gear but it works for now but when it gets really win uh, cold and winterish that might be uh, I might be riding on the, uh, on the small chain ring a bit more. Also get some tires that are made for winter riding you know you can get uh, a Continental GP 4000 or 5,000 as they're now called and have inlays in them so that you have added puncture resistance but basically going something like this which is a GP fourth season from Continental or um, something different something made for winter a bit a harder comp compound uh, with the added puncture resistance it's just ideal you don't want to be uh, standing around uh, freezing your hands off when trying to uh, change the tube so definitely get some some good tires as well but the main thing is go get a dedicated winter bike you won't feel sorry when you ride out in bad weather when it, whether it's raining snowing windy or anything like that you can always wash it when you get home you don't have too many expensive parts on it so you don't feel too bad about it and riding with other people you gotta have the full fender on anyway so instead of just clipping on uh, fenders on your normal road bike go get a dedicated winter bike. They're not too expensive if you look around. You can probably find some great deals online for a complete bike or you can uh, go look on eBay, find that used frame set that hasn't done too, uh, too many miles or kilometers and uh, you know bars and, and, um, and stems aren't that expensive so go get a dedicated winter bike. Alright guys so that's it for me for now. Um, the next video I'll definitely talk about the best upgrade you can do 
to your training, to yourself, to your bike, to your everything. The most important upgrade you can buy when you're a cyclist. So stay tuned, watch the next videos, and thanks for watching once again. Bye.